What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have the brand new MDT Vindication Arena. So as you guys know, yesterday MDT Live episode number 13 was posted up to the channel. If you guys did miss that, definitely go check that out. I would really, really appreciate it. But And I also apologize for the echo. If there's an echo, it's because the arena is in the dining room. And the dining rooms, you know, got the tall freaking ceilings in it. And, you know, you freaking talk and it's just echoing off the walls. And it's just terrible and it's just awful. And it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. But anyways, since MDT Live is finally over, guys, and the Royal Rumble is long past us, we are are moving on unto a new chapter in MDT because we are leaving Madison Square Garden. That was where the MDT Royal Rumble was, so we had to uh, change up the arena. I'm actually very, very refreshed that we changed up the arena because, you know, when you're sitting in the same setting for a long time, and you got to think the MDT Royal Rumble setup has been up since, what, like late April or early May? And so it's just been like Jesus, man. So it's really, we had to get three shows out in the span of like two and a half months. And we're finally done with uh, Vindication and MDT Live episode 13. So now it is finally time for Vindication episode 14. And we got to switch up the arena. So I'm super excited for it. And I have it all set up for you guys here. And I, I'm happy with it, man. I'm really excited for it. And I wanted to take you guys through it real quick and uh, just show it off here in today's video. So for the stage, you guys know that we did have the MDT Royal Rumble stage. You guys can see it back here. That is what it did look like, you guys know, with the Royal Rumble. You got the little, uh, you know, the homage to the old Royal Rumble for WWF in 2000 or 2001. I think it was 2000. When they were in Madison Square Garden, I wanted to uh, give, you know, just uh, sort of pay a little tribute there. We got the taxi. We had all the good stuff going on. And so since that is no longer, you know, being used and, you know, I got really sick of using it. You know, after you've used it for three shows, it's like, my God, can we change the record already? So now we have the new pop-up SmackDown Live stage, and what I've done, since Vindication's colors are blue, you guys know it is the blue brand and all that, you know, I figured why not use the SmackDown stage? I think it looks really, really good, to be honest with you, like, compared with the Vindication stage. I know I probably either, I'm trying to think, I want you guys to comment down below, should I change the SmackDown Live to just green screen so that I can put the Titantrons there, or should I add Vindication, like a Vindication graphic over it, or I don't know. If you have any cool ideas, guys, let me know down in the comment section below but I would like to either put the green screen so we continue the we can continue the titantrons or I want to put the vindication logo I can print it off and sort of put it over that or probably just take out that banner and put something else there who knows maybe a giant jumbotron I don't know it'll, it'll take some some getting used to and figuring out what we want but you guys can see here we finally have a new stage design that's a great looking shot right there you get low right here look at that you got the ramp come down you have the vindication ring which we've used since day one ish we also have the common Commentary tables down here. You got yours truly right there in commentary with Brad. You got the Spanish announce tables. You got the timekeepers area. We did add some depth to the crowd. I actually got some depth and layers to the crowd. You guys will see that we're like two and a half deep. We got a lot of stuff going on over there. And one thing that I do have to add is the the, uh, the crowd signs. We definitely have to add more crowd signs. And um, well, I, have, I haven't added any, so I do have to add some crowd signs to the, the arena. We're going to put some replica championships in the fans' hands. Um, there is a hole right here, but that's, that's no big deal there. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, we have the My Damn Nation logo right there because we're on the road to My Damn Nation now. So we have that hanging in the rafters. And we got the steel steps over here, the blue steps. And I don't know, man, I'm really digging it. You know, one, things will be, you know, different once we start filming. I've never filmed with this stage before or any cardboard stage like this. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, putting, uh, you know, Kenny Omega on the stage and stuff. Is it going to give? There is some give in the middle because you got to think it's, it's kind of sturdy on both sides. So all the pressure is in the middle. So when you put a figure right there at the entranceway, right there, it will uh, cave in in the middle, so I'm probably gonna have to be careful there. Hopefully I don't knock stuff over, but I gotta tell you guys, using this stage right here, and like, I had to, uh, you guys know that we had these big stage, uh, big steps right here on either side, so to even put a figure right here, I would have to stand up, this is exactly what I had to do, I had to stand up, I had to move this lamp, go, like go in with my hand with the figure like this, stick it like this, and then sit back down, over here 
and then zoom in as far as I could and it was further than that I, like I couldn't even zoom in this far it would be like from here and then I'd have to lean my body forward and then I would have to look through and shoot the shot so hopefully this will be a lot easier you guys can see that I can actually jump through right here and touch the top of the stage so I think that'll be a really nice improvement when filming probably get you know I can get shots done quicker it won't be as much of a hassle you know having to stand up move the lamp reach over reach back sit back down and you know just and I had to do that how many shots I had to do that a bunch of shots that's probably why you guys saw the zoomed in look sometimes when it was on the stage for that Royal Rumble entrance ramp is because I had a different lens so that I could actually shoot from further away so I didn't have to lean in every single time but anyways I really dig the blue ramp I like the, what we got going on right here we have not had this is a pretty interesting fact we have not had an entrance ramp like an actual ramp that declines or inclines in probably like 10 plus episodes guys because it was probably vindication episode 2 when we finally or vindication episode 3 when we ditched the the, the stage design because we used to have a ramp and then uh, it got too hard for guys to walk down the ramp and so I said F this we're, we're getting rid of this ramp and we haven't came back to it since so now we are back with it so hopefully we have improved on our posing we've improved on everything and we can uh, get an idea of how to fill it out how to do it and get it done and maybe we won't get so frustrated and we'll actually be able to do it. But I really like the way the crowd's got going on. I really enjoy it. Um, nothing too crazy over the top. I'm really excited for the MDT Hell's Gate pay-per-view. So what we'll do, I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do for... Oh. What's up, Alley Cat? Come on. If you knock over the crowd, I'm going to be upset. No, don't. Don't do that. Come on. Yeah, come on. Alley. Get over here. Gotta love Alley Cat, but I, I, I literally cannot, oh yeah. What I was saying was, is I don't know what I'm gonna do about the MDT Live stage because, um, you know, we don't have a pink version. We have the raw version, but MDT Live is pink, not red, and I hate the, I hate the raw stage. So I'm not going to uh, be using the raw stage. I really don't know what I'm gonna do for the MDT Live stage. I'll probably have to come up with something brand new, or I may just go with the old one, you know, take it out of the old arena, stick it in here, and just see what it looks like, and sort of have like a day. I like to have a different feel for both shows, you know, so you kind of get the, you know, a different fresh take every time so if it doesn't feel like you're watching the same show you know back to back leading into pay-per-views and stuff like I, I can tell you already when I watch Vindication I watch MDT Live they're definitely two different products they're definitely two different ways of doing things like you can tell that they're two different shows and stuff but uh this is the official MDT Vindication Arena, guys. I would love to know down in the comment section below, what should I do about the SmackDown Live banner here? And another thing I want to know is what should I do for the MDT Live stage? And um, what do I do with this now? I don't know what to do with this. What the hell do I do with the Royal Rumble stage? I guess just put it... I need to have a big old warehouse where I stick all the MDT stuff that we use in the past. Like WWE does, you know, have they have the big old warehouse that they just stick all their old stage sets and stuff in. I need something like that, to be honest with you, but... I think that about does it for this Arena 204 MDT Vindication. We got everything looking good. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Again, I do have to add crowd signs. I have some replica championships I'm going to put in the crowd to uh, make it look like the fans bought, like the Elite Championship, the MDT Championship, and stuff like that. And um, I'm really excited for Hell's Gate again. I cannot wait to get a custom stage built and do stuff like that. That's my favorite part is like putting all the background stuff into it, building the stages, um, making the, the ring apron, what color ring ropes. And we're going to have the big old Elimination Chamber match up in here. And this table is actually pretty big. Let me go ahead and stand up so you guys can see sort of what we're dealing with here. I mean, this, this dining room table is pretty big. It's got the arena in it, a lot bigger than the other arena table that we used to use. So uh, I like it a lot. I, I would love to know down in the comment section below guys. What do you think? What do you think to the extra depth to the crowd? Does it kind of look like it used to? I kind of forgot what the MDT live and vindication crowds look like follow or before the Royal Rumble because it's been so long since we've seen this crowd set up like this. But that pretty much does it for today's video guys. Thank you so very much. We may have a toy hunt coming tomorrow or later today depending on how it goes. Um, if you guys are interested in that toy hunt please let me know down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for today's video guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Comment down below all the things that I need you guys to comment down below. Go watch MDT Live episode number 13. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toy and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Allie. Come on, Chief. Get down. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Get down.